Aaron Slominski, fisheries biologist in the Northwest District. For the most part, uh, we didn't have as much snow as the rest of the state in the Northwest, so most of our lakes are fairly and pretty, pretty good this winter. Uh, Cottonwood Lake is likely to winter kill this year. That lake's kind of suffered during the drought water. Water levels are still way down in Cottonwood Lake, and Clearwater Lake also is a concern. That one is likely to winter kill also. Uh, we'll get both of them uh, restocked again this spring. Uh, probably get some northern pike fingerlings and maybe some perch in Cottonwood Lake and perch and maybe some walleye fingerlings in Clearwater Lake. Uh, for the most part, we're, we're pretty good. Most of our small reservoirs uh, are, are full. We entered the, the fall really, really dry again up in the northwest, and we don't have as much snow as the rest of the state either. Uh, so there might be a little bit of runoff, but for the most part, most of our lakes are sitting pretty good. The most popular walleye fishery would be Lake Darling, managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. That'd be probably your best option for walleye fishing. Uh, Blacktail Dam and Northgate Dam would also be two good options. Lots of northern pike opportunities. Uh, some of uh, lakes with high abundance of northern pike would be Arnegard Dam, Skirma Lake, uh, Tioga Dam. Those three are probably your best options for good numbers of pike. We got uh, a couple of good crappie bluegill lakes, so Smishik Lake. There should be some keeper-sized bluegills in Smishik and Trenton Lake's also been quite quite a good crappie producer for a lot of years, and uh, crappie fishing's been a little bit slower this year, but the, the crappies are still there, and in good numbers. There's lots of lots of nice fish over 12 inches. Some of our community fisheries, if we get some trap and transport done this year, we can hopefully get some perch and bluegills in like Stanley Pond or or Spring Lake Park in Williston. Yeah, a couple of good bass options would be uh, Bacaloon and East Mine Pond. Uh, Bacaloon Dam's also got bass in it, and Coteray Dam's got a a uh, good population of bass and some real nice fish in Coterie Dam. Uh, lots, of trout, lots of trout opportunities. Some of the community fisheries, like I mentioned before, get stocked every year with trout. Uh, Stanley Pond, Watford City Pond, Spring Lake Park in Williston, and uh, a lot of the other smaller reservoirs get stocked annually. Uh, Coterie Dam, uh, McGregor Dam, Northgate Dam, and, and Kettle Lake also get stocked annually with trout. Uh, Northgate Dam, it has what we, all, we call carryover trout, so the trout typically survive more than more than one year, so you can find some nicer trout in North Cape Dam. Uh, some years if we have a lot, we can stock a lot of adult perch in some of these lakes and kind of, you know, rebound populations in some of them. And some of them, we don't see a lot of perch reproduction. Stocking a lot of adults can sometimes uh, bolster the populations. May 1st is always our traditional paddlefish opener, uh, like any year. It all depends on flow conditions down the river, uh, how successful snaggers are going to be. Uh, typically, you know, when the, the weather's nice and we have some lower flow conditions down the river, uh, they're, they're a lot more successful and uh, we have, end up having a shorter season. If there's a lot of flow coming down the river, uh, snagging gets to be a little bit slower. Uh, the fish have much more bigger river channels spread out in and people aren't, aren't as successful. 